Photographing insects without a flash is always fraught with problems, isn't it? Because you're always limited by shutter speed, depth of field, air is gone. Um, and having to use eye, high uh, ISOs to get a, a, a reasonable shutter speed or depth of field. So the best thing to do is use a flash. But um, I'm a little bit uh, reluctant to buy a ring flash. I just don't want to spend the money basically. So uh, I decided to make my own softbox um, to go on a conventional flash gun. So uh, what we'll do now, we'll go inside and um, I'll just show you what I do. Okay, so uh, here's your general situation. Got a little critter there and you want to light it. Now you can use a, ri a ring flash on the front of the lens, but being a bit of a, a tight arse, I don't want to go out and buy one. So what I thought, the best thing to do is have a nice soft box up there and the best way to do that is just to make something go on the front of the flash gun like that you just use a bit of cardboard and uh, silver foil this is one I made last year and it's looking a little bit worse for wear so I thought I'd, I'd make a new one So that's the gun I'm going to use, it's a um, Canon 430 and something like that will be a softbox. So first of all I'll need to open up the box and make a shape. Now one thing I've just noticed is that the flash gun is about the same width as a Waitrose multi-grain hoops box don't you know so I'm going to use that it'll it'll uh, make things a little bit easier so um, what I'm going to do is just make a shape down here something like that and then you can uh, then I can cut that bit out add a bit to the bottom and then it should just slide onto the uh, flash gun so that's the general shape I'm going to use. Um, flash gun's there. I mean that's my old one, but you can see it's it's knackered, isn't it? And I've just basically copied the shape of that. Um, you're going to have to work out what your working distance is. So you want your subject to be there from the if the flash gun's there. So you want your subject to be around here. So you just have to work that out. That's going to be. So I cut that out on the other side uh, and then um, go from there. So I've just cut out one side there then I'll just transfer that shape to the other side. So that's about 42 mil. so do that there. I did have a little bit of spray mount, but it's nearly all gone. So, when you get your aluminium foil, I'm, I am making this stuff as I go along, so it might go terribly wrong. I might just lay that on there. Oh, it won't fit that way then. Right, I've just put those down with a bit of Pritt stick. Now the next thing to do is to just tape up the corners and start making a shape.
Right, that's the bottom bit. I stuck that down with Pritt stick, but it's a bit rough because the Pritt stick's all dried up. So that one's taping on there like that now. And then all you need to do is just cover the front with some translucent material. I use some plastic um, packing material, which is quite good. I might try to pinch that again. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't got any. I suppose you could use a plastic bag, something like that. But anyway, that goes there. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off while I do that because it's going to get very boring. Okay, I'll just take that on roughly. So I'll just see if it fits on the flash gun. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit loose actually. But um, so we could live with that. Might be able to pack it out or something. Or just make this a bit smaller. But that is your basic thing. Just one more thing, if you don't want to bother sticking um, silver foil onto cardboard, you can apply some of this sticky backed um, aluminium tape which would do the job. I've just found it in the drawer. I forgot I had that, so I would have used that. It would have oh, and the diffuser at the front, I'm just going to use a bit of carry bag. And I'll just take that on the front like that. Actually, the best thing for this would be a bit of um, milk bottle to make it sturdy, because it does have a tendency to squash in. You could put something across there to stop that but I guess the best thing would be a piece of rigid plastic from a from a mill bottle or something like that and it keep it sturdier but I'm going to carry on using this I can always replace it later <laughs> Do 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 do